How you going, viewers? We're just packed up. We're ready to head to Charleville. So uh, we're just doing a sign off from Sandstone Park. So we'll give you a bit of a review of the park. So it's a good bush camp. Uh, it's on top of the hill. Uh, it was windy for a couple of days for us, but not too bad. Quite bad at night. Yeah, but quite bad at night. Stuff held up. Yeah, everything held up fine. Uh, but you are on top of a hill, like you can see the campsite there. Um, so but the advantage of that is you get views all around. And the views amazing. are spectacular. Yeah. So you're about 10 minutes from Carnarvon. Um, there is a big four just down between us and Carnarvon. Uh, but it's more your traditional caravan park. So your powered sites, your smaller sites. And there's also got obviously... A kiosk yeah, amenities. kiosk and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then obviously you've got the camping at Carnarvon itself. So it just depends what style you want. We were very happy here. Um, ground's very hard. Um... <laughs> We finally got uh, the rest of our pegs out after quite some time. Uh, again, <laughs> the longest no, bit of um, packing yeah, up. Yeah, longest bit of packing up was getting out. the pegs out. Um, there are the um, portaloos, which are very well maintained. Uh, no showers, um, no kiosk, no time. shop or anything like that. Um, it's got um, non-potable water, but no potable water. So you've got to bring all of your water if you uh, all your drinking water. Um, but if bush camping and more your self-sustained sort of campings you go, then this is the one to go to. So uh, we're quite happy with it. So Sandstone Park, uh, so shout out to the owners. Uh, we didn't get to see them. Um, you know, some campsites, you get the owners come around and say hello. This one was more of a, well, there's your spot and that's it, which is fine. That's, but we were out most of the days. We were out most of the day, so it doesn't really matter. So uh, we'll give you a, a final quick look around just from our campsite, the views that we could see. Uh, and just the area that we had as well, like the campsites are big. Mm. They're really, Massive really big. campsites. Yeah. yeah. They go from the road, which you'll see all the way back to the scrub, uh, and they're fairly wide as well. So uh, we'll just give you a quick look around and then we'll head off. Okay, out for now. So there's the ute there. So there's our neighbours over there. But uh, really, this was our campsite. So you can see peg 30 up there. And peg 30. 29 over there so that was our campsite um, but all the way back to here so uh, and that's our view not too bad at all and there's the rest of the campsite so uh, not busy at all not busy at all so yeah recommend it certainly come back here again yeah campfire is good bring your own wood they didn't have any wood on sale um, and it was a bit hard to find firewood too at the local places. So uh, if you want to have campfire, you might check what the uh, wood situation is before you get here. Um, and if you do need to bring wood, then um, don't count on getting any at Injun or Rolleston. Uh, you might have to go all the way back to Roma or possibly just bring it yourself. Anyway, that's a sign off from... Sandstone Park, our next stop is Charleville, and uh, we'll head there now. Okay, 